all right so in the previous class we computed so what we had was we had a vector space v we had a vector space w all right and then there was a map from here to here there was a basis a here b here finite basis so dimension here was n dimension here was m then we had the matrix t of ab all right this is n so therefore it was n here and m here so it was an m cross n matrix that we had all right and we had also computed that if t was a counter clockwise rotation clockwise rotation in r2 then t with respect to a standard basis this, this is the way of writing to, so t in the the standard basis of r2 this looked like cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta this we computed all right so let's take up some more examples to have better understanding of these things all right so example 2 another example so example define t from r2 to r2 by t of xy is equal to x plus y x minus y so in the standard basis this is nothing but 1 1 1 minus 1 xy because we are defining things in terms of a standard basis itself because we are writing xy here which is xy is nothing but so t of xy is nothing but t of x times 1 0 plus y times 0 1 which is t of 1 0 t of 0 1 times xy so this was the capital x if i want to write it as with the basis a here and this has to be written with respect to the, again the basis a itself the standard basis and t of z, 1 0 if i see here t of 1 0 by definition is x is 1 y is 0 so it is 1 1 if i write 0 1 y is 1 x is 0 so i get 1 and minus 1 and this is what this matrix is fine so this was same as this fine now i want to change the basis so first let me change the basis of the image space all right so let let the basis of the of the codomain public image space space b 1 0 and 1 1 all right so this is the basis that i'm looking at this is my b so i'm changing only the basis of the codomain i'm not doing with anything with the domain domain is r2 with a standard basis all right domain basis is e1 e2 all right the standard basis fine so here what i have to do is that i have to change only these two this part remains as it is so for me t of 1 0 i have to do it with respect to b which is same as 1 1 with respect to b which turns out to be if you relate this this is 0 times 1 0 plus 1 times 1 1 so it is 1 0 for me similarly if i want to compute t of 0 1 with respect to b this is equal to where is that 1 minus 1 with respect to b so this by is equal to we will have to solve it out so i wa want you to solve it and check that this is nothing but 2 comma minus 1 so just verify it it is 2 times 1 1 plus minus 1 times sorry 2 times 1 0 plus minus 1 times 1 1 well let's just verify it is that okay minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 and minus 1 is 1 yeah so this is what it is so therefore 
this T of A B where this is my A the standard basis is nothing but T of 1 0 with respect to B T of 0 1 with respect to B is equal to first will come from here second will come from here so it is 2 comma minus 1 is that okay so T of AB is this now I want to change ordered basis of the domain so change ordered basis of the domain I am taking A as ordered basis as minus 1 comma 1 and 3 comma 1 I am taking this as my ordered basis fine and I want to compute T of AB so T of AB by definition again it is T of the first vector first vector is minus 1 comma 1 this with respect to B T with the second vector 3 1 with respect to B so I am to, supposed to look at T of minus 1 comma 1 is so this is the definition minus 1 comma 1 you have to do it there so what I have written here is T of this is nothing but 0 comma minus 2 with respect to B and 4 comma 2 with respect to B which I have written as 2 minus 2 2 and 2 fine so please check whether this is correct or not please verify please verify so for me B is this itself so let me just check it 2 and minus 2 I get here 0 that is okay and now it is 2 and 2 so so 2 plus 2 is 4 and 2 that is 0 so that is correct so this part is correct let me check whether 0 and minus 2 is correct or not so it was x plus y and the definition was x minus y so if minus 1 plus 1 is 0 minus 1 is minus 2 and now if I look at 3 1 3 plus 1 is 4 and 3 minus 1 that is 2 that is correct so this is correct I think all right so this is the way you are supposed to compute the matrix of the linear transform what you are supposed to do again let me do it so if you are asked to do if you are asked to compute T of a b all right so a is given to you which is a standard basis will be given some u1 u2 un b will be given to you as some v1 v2 vm what you are supposed to do look at t of u1 t of u2 t of un so this matrix a b is nothing but this matrix but this is in terms of vectors not in terms of coordinates so I will have to compute the coordinates with respect to B I will have to co compute this fine since I am computing with respect to B it means that this will have M components this also has M components this also has M components there are N column vectors here so this is going to be an M cross N matrix that fine so look at the image of T so look at the image of T look at the image of T on the basis vectors of domain all right why am I asking this trying to repeat it once more for you is that recall that any linear transformation T was known was understood if I knew the image on the basis vectors all right so I had to look at the domain I had to look at the image on the basis vectors so I am doing the same thing here I am looking at the image of the basis vectors of the domain so I am looking at that once I have done that if once I have looked at the image fine then what happens they are certain vectors but those vectors they will give you T of u1 T of u2 T of un but I want a matrix since I want a matrix so I have to find the coordinates of those vectors T of u1 T of u2 T of un with respect to the basis that is given for the codomain so T of u1 T of u2 T of un is computed now I want a vector so I have to coordinate find the coordinates of the vector T of u1 with respect to b 
coordinate of the vector t u 2 with respect to v, coordinate of the vector t u n with respect to b. Is that okay? That is the way to proceed. So, this is what you have to be careful that this is the way you have to compute and there will be at least one question which will ask you to find the matrix of the linear transform. Maybe it will be A and A, B and B, things like that, but there will be something in that. So, you have to be careful about it. Fine. Now, the next question is example. Suppose I have T from Rn to Rm. Fine. This is I am looking at and we are given. So, given and given a matrix A which is of size m cross n and you are defining T from R to R by T of x is equal to A x. Fine. This is the way I am defining. So, this is the linear transformation that I am looking at. Fine. Question is what is the matrix of T in the A standard basis of R n and a standard basis of R n. Fine. So, as you had seen here, let us go back. So, the standard basis it remains as it is fine. So, again we will have the same thing here. So, let us try to see it. So, I need to compute what is T of E 1. I have to compute T of E 1 with respect to the basis B of codomain. So, I have got a basis B here, a basis A here. So, T of E 1 will be nothing but A times E 1, which is nothing but A 1 1, A 2 1, A M 1. Fine. Because A is an M cross N matrix, this is what it is. So, I have to look at B and with respect to the basis B here, with respect to the basis B here. Now, B is a standard basis, so it is still the same thing itself A 1 1, A 2 1, A M 1, fine. Similarly, T of E 2 with respect to B will be A of E 2 with respect to B, which is again A 1 2, A 2 2, A M 2 and this I have to compute with respect to B. Again, standard basis itself, so it will remain as it is A m 2 itself and therefore, what we see is that in terms of the standard basis here, this will be A itself. All right, there will not be any change because this is what we are getting here. Fine. And how do I change it? So, let us understand that how to change. So, we computed different things. So, change of basis. matrix with respect to linear transform. So, I am doing this only for R n and R m, so that you understand what is going on. Is that okay? So, you have to be careful. Let me write only from R n to R n, so that I can take inverse. All right, otherwise, I will not be able to take inverse. So, I have got A here. So, let me just write. So, define T from R n to R n by T of S is equal to S times X. So, S is an N cross N matrix and I am doing things there. Fine. I have a basis A here which is V 1, V 2, V n. I have another basis B which is u 1, u 2, u n and I want to compute T of a b. How do I compute T of a b? Fine. So, what am I supposed to do? Let us understand that. If I want to compute this, I am supposed to look at T of v 1 with respect to b, T of v 2 with respect to b, T of v n with respect to b. This is what the matrix of linear transformation is. All right, that is the definition that you have to compute the image of T on the basis vector. So, T on V1 the basis vectors, T on the basis vector V2, T on the basis vector Vn. But at the same time, 
each of them have to be computed with respect to the basis b fine maybe there is this it does not come nicely here so this is the way it is supposed to look at fine so you compute this now what is t of v1 and all of them so this by definition is equal to and i'm looking at with respect to b i have the matrix b here and t of v1 so from b i need to go to the matrix b which was which was u1 u2 un all right fine so this was this then b inverse of t of v2 b inverse of t of vn which is same as b inverse times t of v1 t of v2 t of vn fine now what is t of v1 how do i compute i know this for the standard basis so how do i get t of v1 so t of v1 by definition here look at this is s times v1 s times v2 and so on so it is b inverse s of v1 s of v2 s of vn fine how do i handle this now that's the question fine now what is s s is a matrix v1 was what s is n cross 1 v1 is also an element of rn each of them is an element of rn so this is n cross 1 so i can multiply them out fine so this makes sense for me so it is again b inverse times s of v1 v2 vn which is same as b inverse of s times a because for this matrix the basis matrix is nothing but v1 v2 vn all right so we have got just got this part so what we are trying to say is that if if we have been given a linear transformation in the standard basis say t of s is equal to s of x then t of ab where a is the new ordered basis of the codomain new basis new ordered basis of domain new basis of the codomain i'm forgetting to write ordered ordered but as i said you have to keep track of ordered here fine then this is equal to nothing but b inverse sa fine b inverse is what so b is your basis matrix basis matrix of codomain and a is basis matrix of is that okay so this is the way they are related fine so if you want a a to b b what will happen so let's try to understand this what i'm trying to say so if i want to compute so to compute t of a a what i will have this will get replaced here by a inverse s a if i want to get t of b b it will be b inverse s b fine so if i think of these for example if i think of this as a matrix a m this as a matrix n all right then what we are doing here is i want you to understand this which will be used very frequently here look at this i am looking at a inverse here so i can multiply a on the right so i get am is equal to sa all right so a is getting multiplied in two different directions we had started with s so i got sa so what we are saying is that 
S A is equal to A M. This is what we are saying. Similarly, here S is given to me. So, I am writing here, if I look at this part, I am looking at here as S times B here as this B will go this side, it will be B L. Fine. So, understand it nicely. Even though we are saying we are looking at M and N differently, what we are saying is that somehow they are related here. Fine. Now, question is question. Can we relate? Can we relate T A A and T B B? Here you can compute. You can see here nicely that S is fixed. So can you relate this and this for any two any two ordered basis ordered basis and any linear transformation t from v to w v and w finite dimensional see important thing is that here i am looking at in this example that i have looked at till now this is about rn to rn and therefore we could do things fine here I want from V to W, but their dimension could be the same. So, if since I am looking at A and A, B and B, so this has to be removed, it has to be put V itself because same ordered basis is here, same ordered basis here. So, I need the V to V itself. So, T has to be from V to V itself. And what is the relationship between them? So, that will come to the next class. What we would like to say here is that at least if you look at this example, S is fixed. So, what we are doing here is so let me write that here. So S, if I look at S is equal to A M A inverse. This is also equal to look at here B N B inverse N B inverse. So I can write N here as I can put B inverse here A M A inverse times B, which is same as M is here A inverse of B here here it is a inverse of b whole inverse all right so what we are saying is n came from here t of b b is equal to all right m is t of a a so i have got t of a a here fine and this is being multiplied by ordered basis so this is a basis matrix matrix of a B was basis matrix of B. All right. So I'm multiplying here by A inverse B, which was A A here. So this A and this A in some sense are cancelling out. You are left out with this B and that B. Is that okay? So this is what you have to be careful about. And we'll be having this theme again and again at a later stage. So, I would like you to understand this. So, this was for Rn to Rn, alright. But I would like to do it for the general setup also as I said, I want to do it for the general setup. So, there is clarity for you. And at the same time, this will also lead us to the understanding of what are called similar matrices. Here also we are saying similar matrices that if I look at this, these two are invertible and inverse of each other find a inverse b and a inverse b inverse so we'll come to that and we'll also understand what are called composition of matrices to proceed further all right thank you for today